Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel, Canada Daily Updates. Today's video is about OIMP, Ontario Immigrant Nominee Program, plans for 2023-25. We will also discuss easiest PR pathway, how to apply and different streams that you might be eligible for. If you're interested in learning more about this topic, please stay tuned because you're in the right place. So, if you're ready to dive in, let's get started. Ontario plans to double its skilled immigration intake. Ontario is investing $25 million more over the next three years, on top of the $15 million over three years that was announced in Budget 2022, to double Ontario's skilled immigrant intake. The investment will work to address labor shortages and promote economic growth in the province. Ontario is Canada's most popular landing destination, and the province welcomes one-third of all newcomers to the country each year. The province and federal government announced the doubling of the number of economic immigrants the province will select to reach a historic high of 18,000 by 2025. Our government is ready to welcome more skilled newcomers to Ontario, to help build the highways, transit, schools, homes and hospitals our growing population needs. As we continue to tackle historic labor shortages, we're doing everything we can to ensure we have the workforce to help build Ontario. It's all hands on deck said Ontario Premier Doug Ford. According to Ontario's website, the new investment in Budget 2023 will speed up processing and ensure that newcomers to Ontario can start working in their professions quickly. What is the Ontario Immigrant Nominee Programme? The Ontario Immigrant Nominee Program OINP, is Ontario's Provincial Nominee Program PNP. The PNP is the leading way to immigrate to Canada as a skilled worker. Through OINP, prospective immigrants with the skills and experience targeted by the province may receive a provincial nomination form Ontario, after which they can apply for Canadian Permanent Residence with Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada IRCC. Ontario PNP streams are base streams and others are enhanced streams. Enhanced streams are those that are aligned with the express entry system, which is the system the federal government uses to manage permanent residence applications through the Canada's three main economic class immigration programs. Express entry gives candidates a point-based score on the Comprehensive Ranking System CRS. The highest ranking candidates are then invited to apply for permanent residence. Those with nomination from a provincial program that is enhanced get an extra 600 points, effectively ensuring an invitation to apply ITA, for permanent residence. Based streams are streams that are not aligned with the express entry systems. Candidates who get a provincial nomination are required to apply directly to IRCC. What you need to know The OINP has nine streams you may qualify for. If you have a job offer in Ontario, the following streams operate through the OINP's Expression of Interest system. To qualify, you must register an Expression of Interest and receive an invitation to apply. Employer Job Offer, Foreign Worker Stream Apply for the Employer Job Offer, Foreign Worker Stream if you are a skilled foreign worker with a job offer in Ontario. Employer Job Offer, International Student Stream Apply for the Employer Job Offer, International Student Stream if you are a recent graduate with a job offer in Ontario. Employer Job Offer, In-Demand Skills Stream Apply for the Employer Job Offer, In-Demand Skills Stream if you are a foreign worker in an in-demand occupation with a job offer in Ontario. If you have a Master's or PhD degree from an Ontario University. The following streams operate through the OINP's Expression of Interest system. To qualify, you must register an Expression of Interest and receive an invitation to apply. Master's Graduate Stream Apply for the master's graduate stream if you have a master's degree from an Ontario university. PhD graduate stream. Apply for the PhD graduate stream if you have a PhD degree from an Ontario university. If you have the skills and experience that Ontario employers need. The following streams operate through the federal government's express entry system. To qualify, you must have an express entry profile and receive a notification of interest from Ontario. Human Capital Priorities Stream Apply for the Human Capital Priorities Stream if you have the required skilled work experience, education and language abilities. Skilled Trades Stream Apply for the Skilled Trades Stream if you are a foreign worker with Ontario work experience in an eligible skilled trade. French-speaking Skilled Worker Stream 
Apply for the French-speaking skilled worker stream if you are a French-speaking foreign worker with strong English language abilities. If you are a foreign entrepreneur with a great business idea, apply to the entrepreneur stream as your opportunity to come to Ontario to establish a new business or buy and grow an existing business in the province. This stream operates through an expression of interest system. To qualify, you must register an expression of interest and receive an invitation to apply. Ontario Government 2023 Budget, Building a Strong Ontario Ontario's 2023 budget, called Building a Strong Ontario, is a responsible, approach to help people and businesses today, while laying a strong fiscal foundation for future generations. On top of the $25 million investment in the OINP, the budget has other key measures that would affect Ontario immigrants. The government pledges to invest in skills training, transform the apprenticeship and skill trade system, and help newcomers put their skills to use. In particular, Ontario is investing $75 million into the Skills Development Fund over the next three years, to help workers and job seekers get the skills they need to take on new opportunities and advance their careers. The government is also investing $224 million in 2023 and 2024 in a new capital stream of the Skills Development Fund to expand access to training centers to train more workers and careers in the skills trades and other in-demand jobs. In addition, the budget also discusses the housing crisis and issues with housing affordability. The government is planning to take action to get 1.5 million homes built by 2031. And that's a wrap on today's video. If you have any questions or comments about this topic, feel free to leave comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.